pressure and says, I'm not going to follow any longer. Let's get on with this. I've got a championship oh, to win. Faulkner short cut the track. Like the clickbait in the thumbnail. Should he have been docked? Only biased opinions only allowed in the comments. So go down there, do the little keyboard. And I'll give you my opinion, and then we'll actually go through the rule books and go back through the replay and see if I was the race director, what would I have done, right? I know if I was Honda, I'd be doing anything under the sun to be like, no, this POS cheated. He cut the track, accelerated, did everything. What what race, you know? Because I want my rider not only win the championship bonus, but also win his race bonus as well. Forkner, Kawasaki, they're going to be doing everything they can to make sure that he gets the win bonus and not just a podium bonus, but I just said that, you know? So he, he makes as much money as possible, and it looks good for Kawasaki for winning races because my experience when it comes to any sort of motorcycle racing, whether it's indoor, outdoor, off-road, is people can be little sissies, and that's just the name of the game, is you don't hit the rider on the track, you maybe have a couple words, but then you go to the officials, and you have a heyday with, hey, this is wrong, do something about it, and, 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 and. it's all mind games, it's, it's everything. These riders have got some... I guess experience with each other with Jed accidentally taking Forkner out in the air you know there's a little bit of high blood pressure I would say when these two are around each other so yeah just let Austin win the race if you were Jet you win the championship and then just go protest his ass afterwards and still win the race right that's if I was in the Honda tent it's what I'd be telling everybody to do the Kawasaki tent you're trying to defend his actions, right? So let's just, before I get into it, let's go through the rules. A rider leaving the course may continue to race properly by re-entering the track at the closest, safest point to where the rider left the course without gaining an advantage. Okay, so before we move on, let's just go back and let's look. So Jet covers the line. Could Forkner have really checked up and not had to leave the track? Maybe not. Maybe not, because that, that is racing. But right here, right here, where could he have safely re-entered the track? Arguably, you could say right here. You could argue right here that he could have gotten. There's nobody behind him. They were way out front. He wasn't going to get landed on. So if you were Honda, you could argue that it's right here. If you're Kawasaki, no. The safest part of re-entering the track is here. Okay. So what did he do? Re-entered. You know. That would give him the clearest advantage. Right? Not being completely biased. I guess I will just give my opinion. <sighs> I'd give the win to Forkner. Uh, I would. However, there is an argument there. So, do do do. Let's go back to the rules. Let's go back to the rules. Rules... While off the course, the rider may not accelerate in an unsafe manner as deemed by the race director. Okay, okay, I, I get it. Unsafe, unsafe. What did he do? What did he do? Sit down, elbow down, throttle on, roost, Mach 80. He's accelerating. Would I say that's unsafe? No, I would not say that's unsafe because he's basically on the start, right? Okay, all right, all right. Let's go back. If the rider accelerates in an unsafe manner while off the course or puts part of the race course or cuts part of the race course, the rider may be determined to have gained an advantage without gaining a position. Mm, this is the gray area, right? Did he accelerate in an unsafe manner? Nah, no. But did he cut part of the race course mm, without gaining a position? Did he gain an advantage even without gaining a position? Hmm, there, there's the text, right? Where these are rules, they should be treated as rules, not guidelines. Every time I bring this stuff up, I always get the same F and answer that these are guidelines. <laughs> it's a rough draft. It's not actually meant to be set in stone in any way. So, boom, boom, boom. 
Let's let's let, let's just look back. So did he cut part of the track? Yeah, he, he cut the last double out. He cut the last double out. This guy, this guy. So he cut the track. Did he gain an advantage? Yes. Yes, absolutely. fucking lutely he gained an advantage. He would never have been on the inside of Jet if he hadn't have cut the track. Jet had it. He had to check up. Would have he been able to make the next double? No. Because he overjumped that single. You wouldn't have enough acceleration to make this next little double. So therefore, the advantage is his wheels were on the ground. He's got the inside. That was an advantage without gaining a position. It helped him in the next corner. Do, do, do. Let's go back. Uh, if it will be the duty of the race director to make the determination of whether rider gain an advantage by leaving the race course and re-entering. I kind of think he gained an advantage. You know, now I'm looking at this, looking at the rules, looks to me like he kind of gained an advantage. He wouldn't have been that close to Jet if it wasn't for leaving, right? Number four, the minimum penalty for gaining an advantage while off the course be a loss of the number of positions gained plus one additional position in the final results. So that would be first to third. First to third for Forkner. Hmm, still get a, a bonus? Still get shitty purse money? Kawasaki still gets a podium. But he cut the track. Or you just treat these as guidelines and let them have the win, which is what they did, Right? The penalty for gaining an advantage while off the course during qualifying will be lost for others. Fast left. Okay, that's qualifying. <laughs> you know, heh. But if he would have, I, I guess, let's just be devil's advocate. If he hit the fastest lap time, right, by making that same sort of a error where it had nothing to do with Jet, right? So let's just let's just go back to if I can find my window. Let's just go back to this. In qualifying. Was he the fastest in qualifying? He was. Was it Okay. Uh, 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 semantics. Doesn't mean shit because he didn't do this in qualifying. But if he did, let's just say Jet Invisible Ghost Man, right? Invisible Ghost Man, that's what you're chasing, right? He got scared and he decided to jump off the track, not do the triple. And then rah, go around the last two doubles, go into the first corner, gets the fastest lap time. Would somebody be like, no, no, hell no. You don't get the fastest qualifying time, nor do you get to pick first on the gate, start heat two. No, uh-uh. For that instance, I would say no. But situation with Jet being here, should it be any different? Should it be any different? Not that I want to take or see any of a rider lose money, because there's, it's such a finite amount here. Again, I probably would have left it alone unless given some more evidence. And and, and Jet Jet probably doesn't give a shit because it's probably fifty grand to a hundred grand. I mean, I guess okay, maybe you should give a shit if it's really that much money. However, you win the championship. That's the clout. That's the stuff that makes that really wins stuff. You know, I guess it would be a real dick move to make Forkner lose it and it would just kind of lose his or put a chink in his armor because it's like oh you did win the race but you know really you didn't win the race and Jet in my opinion when it comes to the race he just was sitting back letting Forkner be in front of him so that he didn't get his ass taken out for what happened previously and he wins the championship still but that's all doesn't matter we're, we're, we're looking at Real time, what happened real time. There's an argument that he gained an advantage and should be docked a position. According to the rules, go from first to third, let Jet win. But then there's also an argument that the race director, what, what they did was completely accurate. You know, Albrecht was, which he doesn't do much. I, I might say that, you know, when it comes to the whole Barsha and all this rough riding and penalties and probation crap like it doesn't surprise me that nothing was nothing was done with this but i guess let's let's look at this in real time 
and see just so that you guys can make an educated decision now that we have instant replay and we saw heard i read the rules Terrence on Faulkner, applying the pressure and says, I'm not going to follow any longer. Let's get on with this. I've got a championship to oh, win. Faulkner shot cut the track. Now Lawrence comes back. He doesn't want to get involved in it. All right. So only biased opinions in the comments. Remember, that's, that's what you have to do. And come from it as if you were the race director. If you had all the power, what would you do? Be like Forkner, you know, get off, elbow down. 